Okay, so Bandai released the mission briefing for Season 2 of Gundam Evolution yesterday. Uh, brief being the keywords, because although the video was 12 minutes long, I feel as if they didn't really show off a lot. So, anyway, let's just get into it. What did they show off? So, for Season 2, which starts December 1st, which is also when the game launches on consoles, we will be getting one new map and only one new unit. Which is kind of disappointing because... I had it in my mind, and apparently so did a lot of the community, hence why there's kind of a bit of a uproar at the moment. We had it in mind that we were going to get two new units per season, because I remember them saying that in the first season briefing for season one before the game launched. I remember them saying that, and apparently so do a lot of other people. But now people are linking to an interview with the community manager where he's saying, no, you're going to get one new unit per season, which means we're going to get six new units per year. Which, okay, I guess maybe there's a translation mishap in the first mission briefing video but anyway the new unit is the new Gundam which I'm super excited about because I love the new Gundam I mean in terms of iconic Gundams from the entire franchise the new Gundam is top three like definitely and it looks like a really fun unit to play so it has a beam rifle standard medium range beam rifle its first ability is the fin funnels so if you look at a target and press the ability button, it will send two fin funnels out and attack them and it will come back to you. But if you hit an enemy twice with any attack, so shoot them twice with the beam rifle, you'll see like a wee icon for the fin funnels above them. That means when you hit the fin funnel attack, it will send out four fin funnels this time. But if you shoot the enemy four times and therefore getting two stacks of the fin funnel icon on them, it will launch all six fin funnels before coming back which looks really, really fucking powerful and really does sort of fit the sort of fantasy of piloting the new Gundam. Like, that's what I want to do with the fin funnels. I want to send them out and attack people. That's kind of why I'm a little disappointed that the Sasabi's funnels are limited only to his uh, ultimate attack, his G maneuver. But with the new Gundam, it looks really fun. Now, what they didn't sort of show or specify or not was whether or not you could maybe target multiple enemies at a time. Well, if I shot one enemy twice, and then another enemy twice, and then hit the attack, could I send out uh, multiple funnels at the same time and attack two different enemies? I mean, I know there's limited to six, so therefore it wouldn't work, but, you know, it's just something I was thinking of. Uh, but I can't doubt that. I feel as if that would be a bit too powerful, because his other ability is the new bazooka, which is equipped on his back, and it does the sort of iconic move from... The show where he fires it from his back but when you fire it like it even does the flip from the anime which is awesome but when you fire it if you hold a direction you will move in that direction so it can kind of be used as an escape if you want to get further back or you can use it to like close the gap with somebody so that looks really fun and the ultimate attack or the g maneuver is actually the pyramid of light shield thing which i was really hoping that they would make of that I'm so glad they have. So essentially, the five funnels come out. They make a pyramid of light shields that you and your allies can stand in. It's got 2,400 hit points, which is quite a lot. And it looks like if you look at the left of the crosshair, that's like the timer of it ticking down. It looks like it lasts about 20 seconds, which is a really long time. So the five funnels make the shield. And then you've got the last, like the sixth last funnel. It just roams about and just shoots the nearest enemy. Uh, it looks really good. Enemies can enter the shield and still hurt you, obviously. So you can still want to make a dis like you still kind of want to keep a distance with this thing. But it looks really fun, and I really can't wait to use the new Gundam. They also showed off the new map, which takes place inside a colony, like they're calling it like a colony trading post sort of thing. So it takes place inside a city, and they were really like keen to show off like, oh, this map has some gimmicks. So for some of the capture points and attack points, they'll have some like alternating like cover. So like some of the walls will move and then after a set amount of time, those walls will come down and then another set will go up. Just stuff to keep it fresh. And then as you move on, there's like a conveyor belt that you can go on and all that kind of stuff. Which, you know, it's just tiny gimmicks that I don't think will change gameplay that much. But looks really fun. I'm glad we're actually inside a colony now in a sort of a closer sort of closer corridor sort of combat kind of like map so it looks really fun and also they showed off some new skins there's going to be quite a few 
Shards counterattack theme stuff, like that feels if that's what they're really leaning heavily towards in this season is Shards counterattack. So they showed off a bunch of cosmetics for that. A bunch of new stamps, which the Psycho Frame T-shape stamp, I really want that because I, I, I don't know why, I just love the idea of that Psycho Frame T-shape. Like, I've always like loved it for some reason. Like just seeing it in the anime just like fly across like space, like it's just, I don't know, it's just magical to me. I just, I really want that. So I want that stamp and I'm sure lots of the other units will get skins and all that. They also talked about how they're wanting to make improvements faster and how they're not being able to put updates faster, which is something that they want to work on in the future. Uh, they said they're going to make updates to the ranked playlist, which I really hope they do because I have yet to play a ranked game and that, that's not for a la lack of trying. Like I've sat in that queue, I've counted it, half an hour I sat in the ranked queue, didn't find a single game and everyone's like, oh, you need to switch servers, you need to switch to the Japanese servers. So I'm going to have to do that, but I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't have to switch servers to play ranked in my region. So hopefully they fix that uh, eventually, either with season two or season three. Uh, they said they're adding a spectator mode to season two for PC and for console that will come at a later date, I'm guessing season three. And yeah, that's pretty much everything they announced. So. Overall, I'm pretty excited, kind of disappointed that only one unit got added. But, you know, in, in these hero shooter things like like Overwatch and Smite and all that, for every update, they only ever do end up adding one unit or playable character at a time. Very rarely do games add a whole bunch at once. So, one per update, one per two months, that's actually not bad. Now, the only thing I'm kind of worried about is that when console release comes out, we're getting the 12 base units plus the new Gundam. We're still missing out on those five season one units. I know they said they're coming at a, a later date, but I really want them to specify when because it feels like console's kind of going to be a bit bare bones when it comes to playable units compared to PC. And you know, a lot of the units on PC, I quite like. I really like the Marasai. I really like the Unicorn Gundam. So hopefully they give us more info as to when that's coming out. But other than that, yep. That's everything they showed off for season two. What are some things you wish that they announced? Like I know like uh, server stability is like a big thing that they need to do. For some people, for me, not really. I think I've crashed and lagged out of a game twice and that's it. But other people in different regions are probably gonna have different problems. So yeah, let me know what you want them to fix. Uh, the currency system, like that's a big thing they need to fix acquiring currency to buy stuff like they need I feel as if that needs to be streamlined but also there needs to be more ways to earn certain types of currency because uh, that's really annoying to me right now so yeah that was everything uh, are you guys excited I'm excited you know I'm excited for it to be on console finally that way I can play with my friends and I wonder if they'll add uh, cross play eventually but I don't know I don't think they would add cross play until the five units from season one are available on console so maybe they'll do that in a future update but that's that's not a priority thing right now i'd rather they get the game working like as best as possible before they start adding other shit that could make it lag more so yeah that's that's the update for season two for gundam evolution i'm still having fun with my game and i hope you guys are too and i hope to see you out in the battlefield i hope the new gundam plays good i think it will but yeah that's everything from the video Thanks for watching guys and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.